Before we get started in this Girl Talk video, I just want to remind you grab your water or your beverage and stay hydrated during this YouTube video because I know you wasn't drinking no water earlier. I love y'all. Y'all already know what it is. I've recognized that even in my life, I would speak very negatively towards myself. Um, actually, that's so crazy. <laughs> um, when I think about it too, it's like, yo, we say things about ourselves without even recognizing how it really impacts us. And I actually got this amazing scenario to even share and hopefully I can find the video on YouTube so I can insert a clip. So how many of us have ever said, oh, I'm so broke, oh, I'm this, oh, my hair's not growing, oh, I feel like my skin's not clearing up, oh, I feel like whatever, whatever. Or even not I feel like, sometimes we even say it like, oh, I don't have hair, or, oh, I don't have eyelashes, or oh, I don't have eyebrows, or oh, I'm broke, or oh, whatever it is, like, oh, whatever it is. And as you listen to this video, I'm pretty sure in your mind you're thinking about what do you say about yourself over and over and over that literally you don't even recognize has been impacting your whole life just based on you saying it. I know for myself, some of the things I would always say is like, I'm broke. And for the longest time, I would always think to myself, why would I say that? Like, even if it's like jokingly to like one of my girlfriends or whoever I'm talking to on the phone, like, why would I say that? If I'm believing in being wealthy, if I'm believing in having the funds to per to be able to provide for not only myself and my family but to my friends and those who are seeking um financial blessings why would i say that you know why just why why is it so easy for us to speak so negative about ourselves? and i was brought back to the thought process of we don't talk ourselves up enough it's like you either are too as people would say conceited or you're not or you, you, you lack self-esteem. So it's like, how do you find that, that balance in between where you affirm yourself, you big up yourself, but you also are humbled and you're not like, oh, I'm the, I'm the, try not to swear, but I'm the, and you know what I'm saying? Like, how do you not come across like that? And how do you silence yourself and cut the tongue that makes you curse yourself because in, in all honestly it's pretty much you're cursing yourself when we speak about ourselves and sometimes we speak negatively towards ourselves we don't under we don't recognize that we're actually cursing ourselves as well as we're not even allowing fruit to take forth and allowing fruit to even happen for us so it's like if you are believing to have your hair grow long why would you say that you're bald headed or why would you just why would you say that like it's not funny it's not funny like and as your cyber sissy you need to cut it out because we don't do that over here 2021 and beyond we don't do that anymore we just don't and so if you are someone that has just been talking so negatively towards yourself my challenge to you is comment below one thing you love about yourself and if you comment below you might be rewarded that's, that's that's just what i'm gonna drop right there but i recognize even still it's so difficult for women to even give themselves 10 10 compliments and i'm just like why is it so hard like even it was it was even hard for me at one point and then i had to realize if i don't say good things about myself how can i receive it when other people tell me these good things and so it's something to think about you need to silence that negative voice in your head that says that you're not good enough, that says that you're not qualified, that says that you're overlooked, that says just all of these nasty little things because chances are, not chances are, because there's no chance. The truth is that you are beautifully and wonderfully made. You are made in the image of your father, God, the almighty. When he made you, he literally said, girl you are divine you are made in my image did you know that you are the apple of god's eye if you didn't know that let me be the first to tell you you are the apple of his eye he loves you so much there's nothing you can do to separate yourself from his love i know you guys hear me say that so many times at the end of my videos but i mean it like there's nothing you can do that would there is nothing absolutely nothing um he loves you that's why he sent his son to die for you i ain't gonna start preaching you already know how i am jesus is jesus is the big one 
You are the apple of God's eye. He loves you. He cherishes you. He wants to give you everything your heart desires. If you didn't know that, girl, you need to you need to tap in. Hit me up on the DMs because I will I will tell you everything that I have to this day is because my father provided it for me. And he has given me the Holy Spirit as my helper to tap in to that resource. And so all glory to him. But guys, going back to the negative chit chat, you have to learn how to change your language when you start talking about yourself. You cannot depend on man. And when I say man, I'm not talking about men. Ooh, that's a whole nother. Ooh, I might tap into that. I'm not talking about men and I'm not talking about just men i'm talking about people like men and women you can't depend on men and women to build you up with their words because this world is very very um i don't want to say difficult i don't I will, i'll say challenging because there's ups and downs and that's just how life is right um but you want to be able to say that you poured into yourself you planted seeds that you believed are true and so comment below one thing you love about yourself if you feeling if you are feeling empowered comment more than one thing i mean do not feel like you have to shrink back i love when women compliment one another i love when they share about themselves i i absolutely love that and for someone like me where i i understand some of you guys might see me and be like oh well you know how to do your makeup you know how to do this you're so great on camera you're blah 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 listen no at the end of the day, and I tell people this all the time, I am just a woman trying to figure it out just like you. And there was a season of my life where I was bullied, where I had low self-esteem, where I would literally go into toxic relationships just to feel like I was important. I mean, the list goes on. But listen, love yourself enough to pour into yourself by speaking positive things. I know I spent a lot of time on this topic, when it comes to you to you but it's so it's so necessary there was a video um that i saw and i also heard it also in a sermon about rice and so it was a scenario about three jars of rice and how this man put cooked rice i believe it was cooked rice in all three jars one jar he would speak positive to it towards it in the second jar he'd speak negative towards it and in the third jar, he would just totally ignore it altogether. And in this scenario, he did this for about, a, a, I want to say a couple of weeks. With cooked rice, you know, after a few days, it'll spoil and it'll start to smell really gross. So with the cooked rice in the jars, he would speak, like I said, positive, negative, and not at all. The jar that he would speak negative towards was dark, moldy, it had a disgusting smell. It was gross. The jar that he did, didn't did speak to at all, molded a little bit, but it wasn't too bad compared to the negative jar. And then the positive jar smelled, it didn't smell horrible, it smelled pleasant, it did change color, but it was nothing like the other two jars. And so even with that little scenario, my mind was blown because it was like, they're all cooked rice. They're all in the same jar. How in the world did the rice spoil at different rates? But it just goes to show you that your words have power. I'm going to bring it back to the Bible. It says it in the word. We have the power to speak life and death in this little thing right here called our tongue. And so to close with this video, guys, I encourage you to silence the chit chat in your mind that's negative before it exits out your mouth. Silence it up here. You have the control to do it up here. You have, you have it, trust me, you can silence it. If you don't know how, just speak positive. And the more you speak positively, whether it's through your thoughts, whether it's through out loud, I always recommend people to start doing things out loud um, because you never know unless you try how powerful something is. Yes, you can think it, but imagine how much more powerful it is when you speak it out loud. Change the way you speak. Don't speak negative. Don't, don't, don't. Whenever you feel like you're about to speak negative, before you say it, just think of three positive things. It might be a little challenging at first, but I guarantee you, the more you do it, the better you will become. 
It's kind of like how people have swear jars. In order to stop swearing, they put money in a jar so they wouldn't swear anymore because let's think about it. The money's going in the jar. Some people put money in the jar, they donate it. Some people take it, they put it towards something, whatever your business is. Just try to do healthy habits towards not speaking negatively towards yourself, towards others, and towards the world. I hope this video has encouraged you. I love you guys. Thank you for spending time with me. You are beautiful. You are brilliant. Do not let anyone ever, ever, ever dim your light. I love you guys and thank you guys so much for being a part of my family here on YouTube. I can't wait to see you guys for the next one. Um, and yeah, if you're still here, click one of these videos. Boom, 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 boom. And yeah, I'll see you guys around. Love you.